DaVinci Resolve 20.2 just dropped and it's jam packed full of updates that I have been hoping for and thinking about for so long. I can't wait to show them to you. Let's just get right into it. So in DaVinci Resolve here, this is in version 20.2. Uh, I have an open timeline. Now this is a video that I'm finishing up right now. This is a video that's coming out and I wanna show you some changes that they made to be able to work with. So this is what my timeline looks like when I finish recording. So I have my audio, my screen recording and my camera footage, right? And this is how I layer them. But what used to take me a ton of time time is the fact that I'd have to go through manually and say, oh, I want to cut right here, make a cut, come here, make a cut, and then delete that. And it just took forever. Well, now there's this new feature where you can select all of your clips, go up to clip right here, audio operations, and ripple delete silence. Watch this. Now, if I come down here, you can see it's selected all these areas for silence deletion. And I have my threshold set to negative 43 or so, and you can change this based on your own preferences. I'm gonna set mine right here at negative 39 right now. Now watch what happens, okay, when I press remove. I'm gonna make sure crossfade audio is checked. I press remove, and just like that, it ripple cuts all of that silence out of your timeline and crossfades all of the audio. So now you get smooth playback. This would have taken me on average when I was cutting my videos before, this took me about four to five days worth of my free time and that's including all of my breaks at work and everything like that as well. This just made it last about like that process now takes 45 seconds, absolutely insane. So on to the second thing that I am so, so excited to finally show you is that DaVinci Resolve now has guides. This is something that Premiere has had for the longest time and I've never understood why DaVinci Resolve didn't implement this sooner, that they needed to have this sooner. This is more of like a, okay, well they finally caught up sort of thing, but I'm glad they got it. Check this out. If you wanna add guides in your preview viewer here, you come up to this little button right here, turn on rulers. Now you have rulers across your entire viewing window and turn on guides. So now you can drag down from here and you have guides, like finally, right? And so now you can, line up your eye level, just make your guides. Thank you, Blackmagic, for finally getting the message and finally implementing this. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's also guides in the color page. So yeah, the ruler carries over right here and I can, oh, finally. I have wanted this for so long now. I'm so glad that this is finally here. And the second to last thing that I'm super excited about to show you is the fact that they're finally adding ProRes RAW support. So for the longest time, there was some sort of like legal beef. I believe it was between like Atomos, uh, Blackmagic and Apple, I think. Basically, long story short, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve wasn't capable of processing and decoding ProRes RAW. You could decode ProRes, you could import ProRes footage in your project, but not ProRes RAW for some reason. Well, now you finally can, now you finally can. There's so, there's so many specific camera users now that are gonna finally have a reason to practically use DaVinci Resolve. And it's, that's cool, that's finally, it's finally. It's a, one of those things where it's like, this should have happened a long time ago. And again, I'm not exactly sure what the legal holdup was there. Maybe it wasn't legal at all, I don't know. But regardless, it's gone now. Finally, Apple and Blackmagic are cozying up to each other. Super happy to see that. Now, the last thing, the last thing is that Blackmagic, I think, is finally getting smart just because they're, they know who their market is and they're attacking it. Blackmagic, I think, is trying to steal some market share away from Adobe, and I'll tell you why. What you're seeing on my screen right now is one of the most cinematic pictures I've ever taken, and ironically, it's of a half-empty sriracha bottle in my kitchen. Now, I took this, I took this picture I took this picture on this camera right here. This is a Sony a7R III. It's a Sony camera, it's a Sony photo, so it's in the ARW codec. But with DaVinci Resolve 20.2, you can now import ARW codec files in your DaVinci Resolve project. So I'm gonna try this for the very first time right now. Bro, it worked, it worked. Let's, I'm gonna drag this down here, sweet. Okay, so DaVinci Resolve is definitely coming after the photography market just because there are so many uh, video creators that also do photo, myself being one of them. This is so cool because they're finally letting us edit actual photos here. Oh, yes, yes, Blackmagic, you're finally getting it. ARW support in a video editor, that, that's cool. That's cool. Especially with how robust the color grading suite of tools is in DaVinci Resolve. If Premiere's color editing, their Lumetri system, or maybe even Avid's was, or Final Cut or whatever, if their stuff was a little bit better in terms of their color grading tools, I don't think this would be like as big a news as I believe it is, but it's not. DaVinci Resolve is the go-to color grading tool. It is the finishing tool for color. 
And now you can do this. Like you don't need to have a Lightroom subscription, Adobe subscription anymore if you're a Sony photography shooter. And I'm sure the Canon codecs are coming soon. I'm sure that's probably some deal that they have to get with Canon or maybe uh, Lumix and Nikon, all those other camera companies as well. But this is a start and this is a very promising start. So I'm very, very, very happy that these changes got that they finally got implemented. I'm super excited to be using this software. There has never been a better time to ditch Adobe. There has never been a better time to ditch Adobe. And if you haven't ditched Adobe yet, you need to, you need to start thinking about it at the very least. The future is now, but that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were made aware of some things that perhaps you weren't made aware of yet. Like I said, there's never been a better time to ditch Adobe and start using DaVinci Resolve. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching.